Greetings, Cauldron of Weird. Welcome back. We've got more metal for you. And this is a band I started listening to in June. Um, and I'm about to show you my favorite song from them that I have heard so far. Okay. This band is called Tesseract. I'm sure you've heard me talk about them, or I'm sure you know that I've become a fan of them since seeing them. I saw them open for Megadeth and Meshuggah. In, oh, yeah. Uh, in June here in Columbus. And wow, did that show change my musical life. So, Tesseract. This song is called Survival. This is the, the music video for it, the official music video for it. It's kind of hard to find, but we found it. So we're going to watch it, and you're going to react to it. Cool. Cool. So, what we normally do. Yes. Okay. But this is a hard video to find. <laughs> Link in the description. <laughs> Link will be in the description. So, Anna, do, do, do set, play. play. Good taste. <laughs> Il quoi yo te bongo Ça ça va le camata jama yangu Il quoi a erreur Il est au devant Non, c'est ça qui est grave C'est ça ni quoi pas pour de devenir Coco tu fasi moja yenye ifale nyenda Pick a lane, dude. <laughs> That's all Brian got out of this video. Don't need no one to drive at all. Seriously, though, he's driving directly down the middle. Well, it doesn't appear there are people left. Oh god, I've been driving a Dodge for a year! <laughs> <laughs> That's the real tragedy here. <laughs> oh, it's a Volkswagen GTI. Oh god. Actually, that's not Poor soul. Poor bastard. Oh god, it's Resident Evil. The drone's no umbrella world. has found him. Find you.
found him. So there you go. Wow. Survival by Tesseract off of their album. I was expecting Planet. Thanos to appear with right? the Fanny Gauntlet. He, I'm here! Those were words. Yeah. He appears in his black portal and there he goes. Off the races. Chris is not here, so I have to make the joke. Yeah. Tesseract. He hasn't Marvel watched a Marvel movie. movie in years. Oh, yeah, I don't really watch uh, superhero movies much anymore. Oh. They get kind of, they've gotten kind of old. He knows movie. what you're talking about, but it's been a while. Yeah. He's seen the Avengers. Yeah. yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, okay. So. Wasted my own joke on you, gotcha. Sorry, sorry. So in all seriousness, back to, you know, reality. There goes gravity. Go ahead. <laughs> You're looking to me for sanity? Good luck. Back to reality. There goes gravity. Thank you. That, that, yeah. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I appreciate that. You're thank welcome. you. See, that, that, that was, redeemed that. Okay, thank that was, you. That was, pretty, that was really good, Brian. Anyway, Tyler. I enjoy their voices. It's, they're really good. They're like one of those bands you just put on when you want that soft listening, but like they're not too hard. Yeah. But they're not like... Um, I don't know. They're they're like um, they've got like kind of a hard backing to them. Yeah. But uh, the vocals are actually kind of soft and yeah. very calm. And, and yeah. for certain parts of the song, I feel like the vocals are very soothing. Yeah, they work for you. It's not like oh, here's this, and then you can't understand. It's not like any other Mel's are like. Bah, 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 bah. Exactly. Like, no, that was beautiful. That that <laughs> it's it's a point. It's a yeah. point. Yeah, no, yeah, no, but that was no, beautiful. No, I, I can see why you would like this band. They're, they're they're different in that respect, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the story they were trying to tell was really interesting. Yeah, the story of this video is very unclear to me. And like, yeah. I still want to know, like, what happened to the people? Yeah. I'm still why is he the only dude left on Earth? And why are the other people, the, you know, big brother type people chasing him down? Yeah, because there's vehicles? clearly no vehicles. Then at the end, you saw red taillights. Even well, though it looked like they were coming towards him. No, there there was vehicles, but yeah. there was only one car, and he was driving it. But in the air, there was those. Well, no, later on when he was running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that was that's not the point. No, I would give the song all of an eight and a half. I really enjoyed it. The they've the, got a lot of really good songs, especially from the um, from that release, uh, Polaris and. Why am I blanking on that? But, um, regardless, like their, their so most recent, the their most recent release was like a it was a double release. It was like oh, okay. two like mini albums they did, and they're just like fuck it, just put them both together into an album, and they there put it go. into a full album. Okay. That's the way to do it. So, oh, I'll give the video an eight and a half. By the way, okay. There we go. I'm done. Uh, I will give the video a nine. Because what I was kind of, the vibe I was kind of giving was Big Brother-esque, but also Terminator style. Yeah, that's, that's what He I just mean. looks at them at the end, looks up at the helicopter, and goes, you are terminated. Yeah, and then <laughs> shoots it down. <laughs> uh, well, no, because it was kind of one of those, it's like, oh, I, I've been stationed here, and they're gone, and they took my family. Again, yeah, I'm using a Hollywood film reference, but that's kind of the vibe I was getting where it's... Especially with the drones. Yeah, but it, it was kind of very technical... Technological advanced society where the machines have taken over because all of a sudden it's like no matter where he's going to, no matter how far he's trying to go away from him, they're tracking him, and then he sees himself on the big screen. It's like trace this person. He's and he's like fuck. Yeah, so it was kind of Big Brother Terminator Terminator style esque. I would like to know more. Like I would like to see a sequel to this video. Yeah, so the music video, again, I'll give that a nine. That was really good. The music, I'll give it a nine and a half. Those clean vocals were really good. Were really fucking good. And just the music in general was really well done. Yeah, Dan, Daniel Tompkins is a hell of a singer. So, I mean, like, he, he does quite a good job with that band. They're, they remind me of other bands, but I can't remember who they remind me of. You'll probably remember once we stop recording. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. That's how it usually goes. It always, it always happens that way. So, um, so like I said, I, I started listening to this band in, um, in June, and, like, I had heard of Tesseract before then. 
I knew the name, but I had never really like taken the time to go and listen to them. Okay. Um, I was really only going to that show so I could like actually see Mashuga and Megadeth and her. Um, that whole lineup. Wow. I was about to say Megadeth is a nice ad bonus. Right. And like, um, you know, the whole lineup wound up just killing the whole show. You know, Lil Lake opened it, then Tesseract came out. That's always it, nice. Um, yeah, the whole all, lineup. All is... four bands were just. They just killed. And that, that's awesome when you pay a lot of money, especially. Yeah, it was like, like your whole bucks. And your whole lineup just fucking shreds. I was just like, this was so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you and I have been to shows where the whole lineup was not great. Yeah, where the whole lineup was like garbage. And then we, we get to the headlines like, fuck, finally. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, why did I pay this much money? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, with this band in particular, though, um, I. As I said before, I find this uh, Daniel Tompkins singing style to be very soothing at times, but like it, it's relaxing. It's very relaxing. It's one of those bands that you can just like if you if you've had a long day and you want to just chill out, but you still like if you like heavy metal, you can just like lean back, crack open a beer, and like just fall asleep, relax. <laughs> and you know, I I think this is actually a great one of those songs, and you know the lyrics. I love the fucking lyrics of this song, especially in the chorus. Um, like, um, and like, as I said, this was my favorite song. Mm -hmm. So the, the chorus goes, um, when you're not a part of me, I feel dead inside. Uh, like, that's how it starts off the chorus. And like, you know, in, and to get a little personal with it, but not too, too far, you know, it's like, I, it's, I've gone through some shit. We've all gone through our own personal shit, but but we I've gone through some shit, and you know, like just having a, a very emotionally driven song, just yeah. it works very well with me. It's why I like Beartooth so much because their songs are very emotional and very, um, very very much will hit you in the core. So I, I just really appreciate this song. <laughs> Exactly. So, like, and as far as the video goes, very cool video. A very, very cool video, and... Guy had some cool shades. Right? <laughs> Where do so I get like those? like from the 2008s where it's like, oh, what's that? You've got glasses? Well, we have these attachers that just... You just like... <laughs> and everyone's like, that's cool, and now we're like, that's stupid. But his shades, that was cool. So, love the vibe of the video. Love, kind of, like want to know more about the story behind it yeah i mean you can only tell so much you know in, in under five minutes but like yeah i thought the video was very good so the song i i will give the song every bit of a nine and a half uh the video i will give the video i'll give it a nine i just feel like it cut off before it should yeah yeah so we needed more yeah. and that's kind of what they were doing we want more from them now so they did their magic. Oh, I'll feed you baby birds. Don't you worry. You'll have more tester. You want more? Okay, Mr. Burns. I'm sorry, you, did. you said baby birds, and that's the first thing that goes to my mind. Oh my god. So, Hungry. <laughs> With that ridiculous wow. part, we will draw this video to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget Again, to Chris like. Chris isn't here. I have to be the idiot now. That's fair. Um, Good job. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Check us out on Facebook on Call True Weird, on Instagram and Twitter at Sea of Weird. Don't forget to check out the gaming part of our channel. We put a lot of work into that. Need some love. And it needs some love. Love us. We'll see you next time. I'll be the same. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.